talking about following a calling, next up is someone who has followed the call of the wild and ended up with a very unusual day job. There's a quiet corner of the countryside, outside Hungary's capital, Budapest, where the wolf is alive and well and living with... with this man, Zoltan Hawkeye, wolf whisperer. Lots of us can say we love animals, but Zoltan has taken it to extremes. <laughs> Even as a child, I felt attracted to dogs and wolves. I think the first time I heard of wolves was in the stories and fairy tales that my grandma told me. She read me Jack London's books. Later on, I couldn't stop reading them. That's probably the reason why these animals became so dear to me. Nightmares for most children, sweet dreams for Zoltan. And now, a dream business training wolves from birth at his 2.4 hectare sanctuary. They trust him like a canine alpha male because he never, ever lets them down. But don't you need to be barking mad to do this for a living? <laughs> I live here alongside 90 animals, but I don't feel like I'm crazy. It's people who don't have animals that are crazy, right? With Zoltan, the signs were there very early on. He'd really made his mind up. Nobody could hold him back. I supported him. I think it started back at kindergarten. When they asked him, what do you want to be when you grow up? He didn't say a policeman, but a police dog. He absolutely wanted to be a German shepherd. A man who wanted to grow up to be a dog? That has to be a first. But the X factor that separates the alpha males from the pack in this trade is something that can't be bought or learned. It's an instinctive ability to empathize with animals and interpret their actions. No one can translate the things a wolf has in mind. Nobody knows the thoughts of a wolf, for example, when winning a fight, because wolves, as well as all the other animals, don't have the malice humans have. They don't fight because of envy or hate. They always have important reasons for it. Zoltan's on a mission to show everyone that wolves don't deserve bad press. It's very sad that wolves are still hated in some countries. In Romania, people still believe that wolves are aggressive by nature, that they attack people and eat their pets. When seeing a wolf, they only see danger. This job's not all about hiding out in the woods. Gaining support for his cause from authorities and sponsors is tough and means regular trips into the real world. I can't explain my very special relationship towards nature, not even to myself. Back at the ranch, Zoltan is unfazed by 50 kilo adult wolves. Even when they're behaving like very naughty children. Come here, you mustn't do that. Come on, it's okay. You are a good wolf. Parenting skills and a sense of humor go a long way. Leo, go away. You'll ruin the whole roof. What are you doing? Come down. Don't you understand? Down! Come down, will you? They're always climbing up on the roof, ruining everything. I haven't watched TV for a year now because they just eat the aerial. A broken aerial is a small sacrifice compared to the perks. Sadly, 
there's not much call for wolf whisperers, and you'll never see this job advertised in the classified section. But if you did, it would take a rare kind of person to deal with a job description that includes baying at the moon.